And in your song, the entire Western civilization, you talk about the Palestine flood, mm -hmm. and you say the flood has just begun. I was wondering like, if that's something that's something that we have. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's about, that song's supposed to be about this kind of stuff, right? Um, my idea of fun, in a way, it's about that. It's obviously just a love letter to Johnstown. I'm from here, I was born and raised here, and I, I love it. I love this city. I love, you know, thinking about how important it is to, to, to who I am. I was from anywhere else. This is anybody, you know. You're always a product of where you're from, you know, for good or for bad <laughs> in some cases, but that's okay. And the, the you remember those, uh, maybe, maybe, you know, there were these big bulletin boards, big billboards up, and it was like, it would just show like a picture of these old, like, muddy boots, and this dude with like his pant legs rolled up, and they were all muddy, and it said, come back, the flood's over. <laughs> There's one in the mall. Yeah, it's, on the, it's like, in the mall, it's like, it looks like it's like painted on a wall, but it's not. And it was, it was like this um, campaign, I guess, from the city to try to get people to, honestly, to move back to Johnstown, try to revitalize it. I think that their idea of it was to revitalize it economically, you know, to bring in jobs and to bring in this and that. My idea would be that because the cost of living is so cheap around here, we have our own space. We got a lot of bands, a lot of people doing a lot of things. This would be a really great place for other artists to live. I try to talk my friends that we meet on tour into moving here. So the flood's just begun as in the, uh, you know, we could really do something with this place. I think we are. Not we as the Beat Club, but we as everybody. My idea of it is that from from my point of view, from somebody that's in a band, there's all kind. It's it's fantastic. This is one of the best places you can be. The cost of living's so cheap, so you can, you know, pay your bills and still be able to dedicate yourself to, you know, your art without having to worry about if it's bringing money in or not. And, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of bands. We have our own space, you know, our own art space. So you can do anything you want. That shows that it's an invitation to make. Johnstown and specifically that, you know, like the DIY community, but on a larger level to make Johnstown just, that it can be something more than what it is. You know it can. And it feels like, things feel pretty good about that. At least in that. I'm going to play a song called The Incline of Western Civilization. It's about Johnstown, Pennsylvania. And uh, Johnstown's like a lot of towns, but this one's specific to Johnstown. Yeah, I was saying before. But I think that it, from there, I would hope that it lends itself to something bigger. So I'll play you that song.
telescope, you can almost make it out. The art space that they're opening right outside downtown. It's gonna be our hearts, it's gonna be our souls, it's gonna take the place of work and church and school. If it doesn't get shut down by city council, but every time God closes one door, he opens another chain store. The last time I came home from tour, this part of town looked like a town I'd seen a thousand times before. Keeps on dropping, I keep on trying to explain exactly who I am and who I had to blame. For this view of Johnstown from atop the inclined plane. So I say. switch it up from song to song. I'm pretty much the only guy that plays the same instrument throughout the entire set. I play the piano sometimes. Most of the time just, I just play an acoustic guitar. But um, in one song, I don't know, in Let's do Incline, uh, you know, the last one that I played, I play the guitar in that, but there's, there's two electric guitars in it. There's a bass guitar and drums. There's all kinds of shakers and auxiliary percussion, there's a harmonica, there's um, you know, there's an organ in it. We'll play it live, there might be a, you know, a violin in it. There's a mandolin in there somewhere with mandolins. There's a banjo in it uh, on, the, on the record. You know. There's 19 people playing on that record, so it was pretty much if you could pick something up and make it work. Which I think it worked. 